but I cannot see your answer. So I have to wait because it needs time to update. Should you mind if you, I'm just wondering if you can, how about the other teacher, you just switch off your, your, your internet a little bit. Because, yeah, otherwise, okay, yeah, okay. It's coming back, it's coming back, it's coming back. Good, good, yeah, finally. Yeah. Can I have the second microphone? Or okay. Okay, girl, you can start answering the question. Uh, you have two minutes. Question. Um, okay, good afternoon. Uh, what are the negative... Oh, I forgot it shouldn't be. Uh, effects. Effects of this blood type case. Okay. Um, my answer is the blood type case will cause uh, bullying and ending of happy relationship and lose of job opportunities. Ah, very good. How can I ask you a round of applause? For a wonderful answer. Uh, where, where did you get the answer? Uh, in the passage. Uh, which paragraph would you mind telling us? Um, the last one. Last one, very good. Uh, okay, so we are sure that the answer is correct. But uh, to, uh, what about your personal opinion? What kind of negative effects do you think it will bring to others, including yourself? Mm. For the blood type race? People laugh at me. Will laugh at you? Yeah. Why? Can you explain? Give one reason. Mm, I don't know. Um, maybe they don't like my blood, blood type. type. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, mm, they are not happy with me. Okay. Uh, how about your group member? Do they do they laugh at you? Tell me. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> I always laugh at you. <laughs> now you see, uh, Mr. Louis. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. But while the teachers are asking the students question, actually. He, he can do something more. For example, he can turn to ask questions from the other students and to ask if they have similar uh, similar things happen to them as well. And so, so you are going to get your, the other students involved. Otherwise, the conversation will just be between you and, your, and the presenter. So you can try to ask the other students, okay? And see if the same thing ever happened to them, okay? So this is really a, a, a good example. All right, so I'm just wondering, anyone else? Because the connection is coming back. So we, <laughs> we can have more, more uh, candidates for, for, for the gifts. Anyone want to give it a try? Anyone? And how about I need a student and I'll try, try to be the teacher? Okay, any question? The, any student want to come up and uh, try to... Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see here. Uh, uh, group one, we just finished group one. And group three, group five, group six, nine, seven. And how about this one? All right, let's see. It's not a slide. It, it, yeah, it is. It, it's group seven. All right, so anyone want to come up here and uh, ask uh, to, to be the student? And I'll, I'll try to be the teacher. Anyone? Okay, good, very good. So which group? Group seven, and which question? Anyone? All right. Okay, how about this one? 
Okay, good. Okay, All right, so would you please, Miss Kwok? Okay, would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, good, good afternoon. My name is Gigi. I come from Group 7. Do you believe in the bird type theory mentioned in the article? Why or why not give at least two reasons? All right, so would you please try to translate the question into, Tang, into Hong Kong Lees? Uh, in, into but, uh, Cantonese, Cantonese, Hong Kong Lees, Cantonese. Uh, you believe in the Don't know theory. Theory. Theory? A theory. Uh, what does that mean, anyone? Does anyone know what a theory means? Okay. All right, so, okay, yeah, the group will get over. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, okay, now I want to ask you a question. How about at least? Can you come up with a similar phrase which is, which starts at, with at? At least, and there is a similar phrase, but it means differently. At least and at. The other, the other end of the um. Yes. Yes. At most. At most. Okay. At most is a very good one. And how about uh, not, uh, How about the the, the word uh, starts with L as well. It starts with L as well. At, which means finally. At last. At last. Very good. All right. So, I have more question for you. I can see the first line. Why in the question it says mentioned, with E D in the end. Not mentioned. Can you give me the reason why? Well, because uh, the article written uh, wrote in past, in the past. Do you think so? Not now. So ED past tense, ma'am. No. Is it okay? Can anyone? Can you, anyone? Do you think she she offers the right answer? Is it because? Uh, the do you believe in the uh, mention? Okay, is it a past tense? Yes. Is it? Yes. No, it's not. Yes. No, it's not. Okay, so what tense is that? Can can you want give me the answer? It's a past participle. Yeah, why? But why? Why you have to use past participle here? Passive voice. Passive voice. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is a very good answer. Okay. So now let's go. Uh, let's get back to your question. Uh, your answer. Sorry. Oh, no, la, Because uh, <laughs> so, uh, there is I really, I, no I scientific evidence support this claim. Good. Go on. Uh, number two. If theory true, then uh, I'll just wow. Why is my English so good? Oh, <laughs> Uh, well, still. So, what's the point of education? Let's all go home and play CSO. All right. Okay. So, that's an online game. Is that? I, I, yes. I don't have any idea about that. All right. So, all right. So, would you like to? Uh, would you like to translate uh, the English into Cantonese again? Number one. Yeah. Number one. Uh, Okay. All right. Okay. What do you think? Is she doing a good job? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So actually, it all depends on what you want. What do you expect from your student? As for example, I just asked some few. A grammar points and uh, some students they they do they do have a problem understanding a uh, grammar uh, so especially in Taiwan because I still have to get my student prepared for the entrance exam and they still have to to, to cope with a lot of grammar questions so that's one of the uh, one of the way that I can help my student to sort out uh, those uh, complex or, or uh, complicated uh, grammar ideas all right so Actually, there's a lot you can try to uh, try to uh, keep digging and try to find out what your students have inside and try to encourage them. And uh, you will see that you can expect that students will will be improving 
Okay, and uh, they they are going to have more to to gain more confidence in themselves, and they are doing a better job than before. Okay, so I think uh, it has been a very 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 uh, very fruitful day, and uh, I I think it's about time. I'm just wondering if you have any questions for me, and uh, I think you it, it you must be feel tired or uh, you must feel tired already. So I'll just I'll just. Let's go, okay? And then if you want to, if you want to stay and you want to have a talk with me, that's uh, you will you will be more than welcome. All right. So I want I would like to thank you very very much for for giving me this honor. Okay? All right. So hopefully in the near future you can come to visit Taiwan and we can see we can see each other in Taiwan too. All right. Is it possible? Yeah. And don't don't forget to leave me your address and I'll mail I'll mail you the the gift I prepare for you. Okay? Yeah. All right, so I'll see you. Okay, take care. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, remember, uh, in the Google Classroom, the portfolios, in the Google Classroom, send me your email. Oh. And I'll mail the gift to you. All right? And then have a as well, right? Thank you.